Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Zach Fuller and I'm Cami Raisler. We continue to monitor the ongoing situation in Albert Lee as a major train derailment spilled approximately 40,000 gallons of hydrochloric acid. Union Pacific, the company who owns the tracks, says it anticipates a cleanup may take more than a week. Our Noah Kaplan joins us with more and Noah, what have you found out? Zach and Cami, crews began neutralizing the spilled acid tonight. This derailment, and one that happened in Sunday on Sibley, Iowa, come amid an ongoing national discussion over a new infrastructure plan from the Biden administration. Last month, President Biden and his team introduced a jobs plan that would allocate $621 billion to means of transportation, such as roads and railways. It's a once-in-a-generation investment in America, unlike anything we've seen or done since we built the interstate highway system and the space race decades ago. It's still not clear if the weekend derailments were the result of infrastructure issues or something else. You know, anything I would say would be uh, simply speculation. I know there is a bridge in the area and there's a lot of speculation about that. But, you know, the railroad is investigating that. And when they, they have their findings, um, hopefully they'll, they'll let us know. Hall says Union Pacific, a private company which runs these lines, is up to the task in addressing this accident. We're always looking to improve infrastructure and we always, you know, we always like to see infrastructure improve. Uh, but the rails are a totally separate thing. That's a private industry. Yeah, Union Pacific has been cooperating. They, they, they know what to do when, when they have a spill like this. And once the spill is dealt with, rail will remain a crucial part of the nation's transportation infrastructure. I, I think, you know, there's a lot of product moved every day by rail. Uh, and, and, and we depend on we depend on rail. We have for the last 150 years and we're going to continue to depend on rail. Paul said this is only the second time in his eight-year career that he's had to deal with a derailment. Union Pacific, the EPA, and the MPCA are all working to deal with the contaminated soil and wetlands. Back to you, Zach and Cammie. Noah, thank you. And cleanup continues in Sibley, Iowa, after the other train derailment that Noah mentioned. It happened yesterday. The cars contained hydrochloric acid as well, potassium hydroxide, and asphalt. Union Pacific officials say the company's hazmat team is addressing the toxic spill. They are preparing a plan to start removing the rail cars. Some residents living near the area have been allowed to return to their homes, but parts of the voluntary evacuation orders are still in place. No one was thankfully hurt in the derailment. Union Pacific is also investigating what happened there.